Besides being famous for its delicious food, wine and charming historical towns, this region is also known for its cypress trees dotted around the rural landscape of rolling hills. My mission is to photograph these trees at night under the Milky Way. Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Welcome in sunny and windy Tuscany. At the moment uh, we are uh, sightseeing, the wide things we're sightseeing. <laughs> but of course we are scouting for Milky Way compositions. Don't let her know yet. We found a uh, yeah, beautiful cypress lane. The Milky Way will uh, come out pretty well. I saw on uh, photo pill, so perhaps we'll come back here tonight and uh, Shoot some stars! We can of course photograph a whole lane of cypress trees, but why not take it more minimalistic and photograph only one? Do you like the sightseeing? It's amazing. It's a good 360, but then in the middle the single cypress. See, sightseeing and Milky Way photography goes very well together. <laughs> so if you look behind me, you can see a lonely tree, a beautiful lone tree on, uh, on the hill. I think this will work pretty well in a 50 millimeter composition where you fill the frame with the Milky Way and the tree is silhouetted in front of the Milky Way. The afternoon produced some good ideas. So around sunset, I got ready for a good night of astrophotography. Well, that went a bit sideways. Okay, I'm back already because I forgot my 50mm lens. <laughs> and no, this would not be the only challenge. Good evening. The uh, sun has just set. Blue hour has just begun. And um, the plan tonight is uh, that we shoot uh, some foregrounds first during blue hour so that we can, uh, can get a bit more detail out of our shots. And when it's completely dark, I'll be at my third and last location, which is the lone cypress tree. And we'll also try to shoot the sky there. First up was the stone pine, or also called umbrella pine tree. So that's uh, the first foreground about done. The wind makes it a bit challenging because the tree is moving quite a bit, but uh, I hope I got it. And wow, it gets dark insanely fast here. <laughs> In about 15-20 mi minutes, it's super dark. Quick, on to the next location. We've arrived at the Cypress Lane. Wait a minute, I'll have to get a light. So we've arrived at the Cypress Lane. Um, it's pretty clear, but there are some persistent clouds. The wind bothers me a bit more. That could be a problem because the Cypress trees are shaking a bit. But I will just uh, get a shot and we'll see how it turns out. Can you also hear the background? All the crickets, wow. Such a nice sound. Sound of the night. Although I did make a couple of test shots, the wind and clouds got even worse. I had to call it quits. But I tried again the next night. Good evening, it's night number two. It looks uh, way better than yesterday. Super clear skies, as you can see above. There's still a bit of wind, but hey, I'll take it. Let's go. So as you can see behind me, the clouds are extremely clear. Uh, the wind has uh, gone down quite a bit, so uh, I have made some uh, sharp shots of the cypress trees. Uh, I've scouted this, uh, this area again this afternoon, uh, just to look, yeah, some, yeah, to fine tune my composition. As you can uh, see behind me, I think somewhere there, <laughs> you can see there is a gap in the cypress trees, which I did not like at first, but when I look to photo pills, the Milky Way is just passing over that gap, so I have more Milky Way space, so great! I now drove to the single Cypress location to shoot the sky exposures. We are of course not in the Netherlands, so we're not at 52 degrees north. We're at 
42 degrees north, so don't forget to set up your star tracker. So I've uh, moved a bit further down the road because uh, the towns behind you uh, give pretty much light pollution. There are some crazy spotlights. I could even see my own shadow. But uh, I think we're uh, in the shades here, so let's set the Star Trekker up and uh, see how it goes. First test exposure. Oh yeah. Wow. Yes. The first tech is running. I've decided on an 18 millimeter tech. F4 ISO 800, 15 times two minutes. So uh, that gives us about half an hour just to enjoy the night sky, which is beautiful here. The Milky Way is visible with the naked eye. But um, before that, I think I'll set this camera up for a little time lapse with uh, this Cypress tree. That's our uh, 80 millimeter stack done. It looks beautifully on the back of the camera. Also in real life, by the way. Um, I'll go further with the 24 millimeter stack and after that I'll put on the 50 millimeters. But first things first, here is the 18 millimeter sky stack blended with the Cypress Lane 4 run shot during twilight. Just some uh, local youth hanging around my car, which I didn't like very much. <laughs> but I think uh, they have gone away. That's also, yeah, that's always the uh, disadvantage of uh, <laughs> going out alone in the dark. But all's fine, all's fine. Let's go on with some astro shooting. All right, the first 50 millimeter shot is done. Let's take a look at how it looks like. <laughs> Oh yeah, the amount of detail, this is insane. Uh, I hope you can see it on this uh, phone camera, but yeah. Let's get a couple more so that we can stack it. You thought this was it, right? So did I. But I was treated with one more clear Italian night. But first, pizza. After dinner I couldn't resist to visit a much photographed location, the cypress trees of San Quirico d'Orcia. Hey, good evening. I don't know if you can see them behind me, but uh, we're in a perfect circle of cypress trees and the Milky Way is lining up perfectly just through that path, which is brilliant. A cliché composition, but uh, I had to grab it. I had to grab it. It's too good to be true. <laughs> the challenge here lies not in the sky exposures. Its location next to a busy road, thus bright headlights, makes it quite tricky to expose for the foregrounds. But after some patience and persistence, it all came together once again. Thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, I would appreciate a like and comment. Also, don't miss out on the next adventure by hitting that subscribe button. See you on the next one! Get you right.